I mean, just look at her. Mm. She's just giving. She's Hello dolls, it is she and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute, but I am super excited about today's video. We have partnered with Unice Hair. So shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. We love that for us. And we are bringing you this gorgeous curly wig. Now, I can't keep up with all the different types of wigs and what they're coming out with. We've had the eye part, we've had the T part, we've had the headband, wig, we've had the, I mean, we've had it all, but today we are reviewing their V part wig and it's getting undetectable. It's giving it's mine. It's giving it looks natural. It's giving it looks real. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a complete unboxing plus an install. And, and plus I'm gonna be giving the girlies a few styling ideas towards the end of the video. So you can get a couple of different looks out of this unit. As always, all the details will be in the description box. So make sure you check there if you have any questions. If they have any sales, if I have any coupon codes that will also be listed below. I like to save girls a little bit of coins if I can. And without further ado, let's jump right into the review. All right, y'all, so let's get right into the install. Um, of course, I'm gonna insert clips of just the unboxing and when I first took it straight out of the um, box, I did go ahead and I didn't co-wash it or wash it, but I did spray it down with some water that had conditioner and a little bit of um, coconut oil in it. So I usually like to just kind of take that, shake it up, give the hair a good spritz. I run my fingers through it just to kind of break up some of the you know how when the hair first comes straight out of the pack is very just kind of defined and I like my hair to be a little bit more big a little more voluminous have a little bit of frizz because it adds to the natural look now, so far right off the bat I'm really impressed um, with this V part wig and it actually has a little bit of lace parting I don't know if you got yet yeah, you can see that it actually has a little bit of a lace parting right after the V and right where the V splits um, there is lace right there so it's not like a band or a weft or anything like that. So I think it's gonna give the most natural looking parting. So I'm super excited about that. So before I get into the install, I do wanna read you guys the specs on this unit. Okay, so I did get the Uni's Beginner Friendly V Part Kinky Curly Wig. I'm not exactly sure the link that they sent me, but if you check the description box, I'll make sure I have um, everything there. And I just got it in the natural color. I did not try to color this unit or anything like that. I have had hair from them before and it did take well to bleach. I don't want to color this one. I want it to be just kind of the natural um, color that it comes because it's going to be like my everyday just kind of throw on when I don't feel like doing anything to my hair. Um, and right now on their website, they are having a sale with $40 off um i'm not sure when this will be going up but if there are any coupon codes after this video goes live i'm not sure how long this sale is going to last i'll be sure to have any discounts um and any coupon codes below in the description box so um again the quick specs on this hair it comes with four clips in it comes with four clips along the V. It has one clip right here in the crown, which I probably will not use because it's in an awkward location. It has the two combs on the side and then it has the um, comb in the back and then it has the adjustable strap. So let me go ahead and adjust her so that it fits my head nice and snug. I do have, I would say like a medium sized dome. It's not too big, not too small. Um, so I will adjust it based off of my head size. So for my hair, as far as the prep, I didn't do much of anything to my hair. Um, if you guys watched any of my of my previous video, um, I did talk about how I'm suffering from postpartum hair loss, honey, and it is still going back. So I'm trying to do little manipulation as possible on my hair. But I do have on a cap that I'm gonna go ahead and slide 
back. I've parted my hair down the center and I just have it in four braids and then the cap is just going to keep those braids nice and secure. So let me zoom you guys on in so we can do the install. And I did not do any braids at the front. I'm actually going to see how it holds without doing any braids right here along the parting. And if it does not have a good grip, then I'll go ahead and braid it. But like again, like I said, I want it to be as protective as possible. Those combs are open. I'm going to just take this and just kind of place it where I'm thinking I want it to go so far. Oh, this is, I haven't even, I haven't even put her on. Look how pretty this is looking already. Oh, this is looking really pretty. Let's go ahead and secure the wig. So first things first, I love this. I, like the wig isn't even on yet and I, I'm already obsessed. Um, so let's go ahead and clip one. Clip two, then three, and then the fourth one right there at the part. And then I want to take these combs on the side and just tuck them underneath my cap. Guys, look how pretty. I love it. I'm obsessed. The hair is so soft and light and we just kind of see it is gorgeous. It feels like there's nothing on. This is pretty. I am obsessed. Now I am going to work on this part a little bit. I want to bring these in closer and try to get them as close to the part as I possibly can. If you have braids right here, I think it'll be easier to get it really close. You just tuck it underneath the braids. But again, y'all, I'm loving it. Give me a second. Okay, so I was able to bring those in closer to the part. I didn't leave any hair out, no edges, no nothing. Now, I did see um, the girly say that you wanna go ahead and back comb this part so you can really get it looking as natural as possible. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna back comb right at the root there. So you guys can see. And I did create some a little more frizz than I wanted at the top. So I'm probably just gonna take some um, mousse and just smooth that down. I want to zoom in on the part so you can see the difference between the T side and the non T side. It really does make a difference. So make sure you just tease right there at the part, but it looks good either way. You guys, look how gorgeous this hair is. I just can't get over how pretty it is and how simple that was. So this is like this is like a 30 second hairdo, like a literal 30 second hairdo and the hair it feels a uh, freaking amazing. So this is so this is just kind of the look without me styling it or doing anything to it and um, I'm going to show you about three different styles that you can very minimal something very simple without leaving any of your hair out because I think that right now the girlies are just looking for protective styles honey with a little manipulation to her hair and um, I don't know what's more protective and what's more simple than this. This is really really gorgeous like I absolutely love this hair. Now you can definitely rock this in a side part because I know not all of my girls are middle part girls. I love me a good middle part with curly hair, but um, you can definitely part your hair on the side. Let's take out this one braid here and then we're gonna part her on the side just to show you guys what she looks like parted on the side. So whatever your parting preference is, you can achieve that look with um, with this unit. So let's do a quick side part here. And then pop her to the side. And if you want to leave your edges out for a, a more, even more seamless look, you can definitely do that. Um, but for me, girl, I'm just trying to protect my little edges, child. So we're gonna just leave everything put away honey. okay now we have our side part and then we're just gonna
And this is what she looks like from the side. Equally as pretty. I absolutely love the length on this hair. It's the perfect length. And I could cut some layers into it, but I don't want to cut it. I want to leave it kind of as is, like right here. Could probably use a little bit of layering, but I want to keep it. I just I don't know. I just love the I just love the length. I don't want to really mess with it right now. The more I wear it, I'll probably cut into it a little bit, maybe add a little bit of color. I'll definitely give you guys an update on this unit. I'm probably gonna wear it a good four times, four or five times just to see how it wears throughout the day and then come back with an update maybe within like four weeks or so. Um and then I'll probably color it. I'll probably color it and do a little bit more um manipulation to it just to see how it holds up. Now, a wig of this quality, I expect it for it to I expect for it to last me for over a year, especially being that you can just take it off when, you know, take it off at night, put it away. You don't have to wear it all the time. This you should get over a year plus wear in this wig. So I'll do a couple of touch points um throughout the year um, as I wear it and get more used to it. Just kind of let you let, just kind of let the girls know exactly um how much use you can get and you know what value you get for the money. But she is gorgeous. So that is it dolls. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned. I have so many videos in the works. 2020 is going to be a big year for our channel here. Um, again, make sure you check the description box for any details on this hair. I will have everything linked below. I promise you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to jump in the comment section. I should be quick with my response time. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so on your way out. And I will see you dolls in my next video. Bye.